i'd like to give you an overview now of one of my favorite models that i use with clients and they always seem to respond to it. now it's not one of mine it's called the law of thirds and it's very simple. it goes like this generally when you're dealing with a constituency think about employees. you have three different kinds. you have your supporters, the people that really want to do the right thing. you love to manage them. they're always on board and even though if they'll disagree with you they really want to do what's right. then you have the naysayers. these are the people that are never happy. they're complaining all the time. there's usually not that many of them but they seem like a lot because they're always talking to you and they're telling you that everybody agrees with them. and then finally we have the undecideds, the people in the middle who aren't quite sure which side they're going to be on. as leaders we have a fundamental decision to make. if we focus on the naysayers and i tend to do this too. if we just think we can win over those people we'll have it all set. what happens is the undecideds they come over here and decide that's how i'm going to get attention from the leader. that's a bad thing. something else that happens half of your supporters often come over here and to be a naysayer because they want attention and your best people leave. we as leaders have to have the courage to focus on the supporters. we have to speak to them. when we do that the undecideds come over and say that's what i need to do to succeed around here. half of your naysayers will get tired of being naysayers and finally the best news of all half of your naysayers will opt out which is a wonderful thing. and that's your one minute overview of the law of thirds.